everyone, I'm Ethan with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Have you heard of scapulars? Even if you haven't, there's a chance you've seen someone wearing a kind of little necklace with a square piece of cloth on it. That is a scapular, and they come in a few different varieties. The brown scapular, a popular sign of devotion to Mary, traces its origins back to today's saint, Simon Stock. Simon was born in England in the 12th century. As a child, he was unbelievably intelligent learning to read and pray at an exceptionally early age. With his mother's guidance, he grew increasingly devoted to God, and in his earnest faith, he developed a keen distaste for anything remotely resembling sin. It was out of this disdain for sin that Simon, though only 12 years old, decided to avoid the temptations of the world by living as a hermit. He went out into a forest near Oxford and found a hollowed out tree, which he used for shelter. This hollowed out tree is one explanation proposed for the surname Stock, which in those times meant tree trunk. Simon spent 20 years in this solitary forced cell, subsiding on herbs, berries, and water, and dedicating his time to prayer and meditation. After this time, he decided to return to civilization in order to complete his studies and become a priest. Following his ordination, he entered into the Order of Carmel and finally began to involve himself in worldly matters. His timing wasn't too great though, because England was in turmoil. Disagreements between King John and Pope Innocent III restricted the Carmelites' activities, and they lived as recluses for some years near Aylesford. Simon journeyed to the Holy Land to attend a consul, where he helped convince those present that the endangered Carmelites in the Middle East should flee to England. Soon after this emigration, Elaine, the superior general of the order, died. Simon, who was at this point known and respected by many, was chosen as the new leader of the entire order. However, the Carmelites faced difficulties even now. People looked unfavorably on their order, which had suddenly fled to England, and said there were enough religious orders already. By no fault of its members, the Order of Carmel was developing a bad reputation, and the oppression only grew worse as time went on. Simon prayed fervently for Our Lady's assistance and received a vision. He was told to appeal directly to the Pope for help, and as a symbol for her intercession, she bestowed the scapular upon Simon, saying to him, whoever dies clothed in this habit shall not suffer the eternal fire. Simon did as she asked, adding the scapular to the order's uniform and imploring assistance from Pope Innocent. With his help, the oppression against the Carmelites was ended, and the order began to flourish again. Simon continued to guide them until his death in 1265. The word scapular originally meant a piece of clothing kind of like an apron, generally worn by monks when working. Today, it is a small token carried by the faithful. In either case, it is a powerful and useful symbol, a reminder to devote our lives continuously to being in closer communion with Mary and with Jesus. St. Simon Stock, pray for us. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic. For more podcasts, visit spokestreet.com.